All right? And you can pass this. And then you say subtract numbers. All right? Once you do this, you can try it again. For this case, um, you're expecting two here, right? If it doesn't happen, then you will throw error, right? So you have two methods, and we wrote two test cases. We are starting here, we are starting one, and starting two. Okay with this?
Also, you can do test ng at the same time. Uh, once you've done with this, you can look for test ng and download the jar files. So, okay. Right. Let's download that. Uh, let's copy this to download folder. Test ng 6.10. Uh, copy, and then go back to Eclipse. Again, in the leap folder, put it here. So now, once you do this, see you can see that right here. Test ng, and then it looks a little different in terms of jar files. This is like, it's saying it's part of this package, part of this project. But this was, it's not part of this project. So you have to make this part of this project. How? With the properties, Java build path, then add jars, and you see expanded. That's important. Watch everyone. If you expand the leaf, you can only see test ng there to, to be added. How how come JMD is not there to be added? Huh? You already added, right? If you already added, it shouldn't be here part of this to be add. So we can add only test ng now. Apply and hit OK. Now you are about to uh, add. You can add now uh, for testing the classes. So now let's get it backwards. STNG features. This is called maybe rename to JMLIF features. JUnit dot features. Okay, fine. So now STNG, you can add that. Same we added for calculator class, right? Now, if you want to use this, say test, test, test ng, right? The main method, right? You could say calculator, cal equals new calculator, right? So we have to import it. Why? It's not part of the same package. If it's part of the same package, it should be there, right? It have to be imported that. Since it's not same package, calculator class is a different package than test engine features. So we have to import it. Once you import, you see the unit.features.calculator class. It's imported now. Now you can say cal dot add to numbers. 10 and 8, same numbers, we're going to assign, and int add result, right, this. Now if you say assert dot, assert, now not only JUnit, but also you can access, this is JUnit features, now you can also access test ng assert. So there's a one, SR equals into the expected, into the actual from this is what JUnit. Look for the test in U1. Well, let's take only 12 minutes. Uh, add result and it should be 18.
is resist force into here. And in this case, into this pattern. Maybe. Yeah, the, I don't see force into. Step into over, but not force into. I'm going to grab that, uh, the part of this uh, details of. Okay, this looks like still from, oh yeah, this is from testing engine. It's fine. But you want to get those uh, details of this uh, underlying code. Um, we'll do that in IntelliJ. Anyway, so now we say that assert dot assert equals this was part of J unit, right? This from J unit, but this class is from testing J. Same class from two different testing framework. In terms of assert, is doing the same thing, but we will see the difference later on. Once we parameterize test and dependency test, uh, test in G is better. It has better feature than G in it. Now, adding the test cases. You saw before, if it's a new test cases, in terms of G unit test cases, but I don't see option to create testing the test cases. It's not there. So by default, G unit there, but, but Test engine features is not there. So two things, guys, two different please notice. One thing is to get the jar file to import it, right? You need the jar file to import the package. That's what you did already for both platforms. But in terms of interface to create a class, right? We saw we can create new test engine class. Sorry, generate test cases with class. We can create that. You can create a class, you can package all these things. But test engine features it's not part of, by default, in Eclipse. So how you do that? Go to help, then go to Eclipse Marketplace, and then you have to click, you have to get the plugin for testing G. To get the plugin for testing G, search for the in the marketplace. Go search, and we see testing G for Eclipse is there. There's a plugin you can install on this Eclipse in order to see testing features. It will take a few seconds and you might see some warning, ignore the warning, but keep running until end and then restart your Eclipse. Confirm. And then you have to accept the agreement, then finish.
Just in G. Do that actually is method. So this
In the face, in the face, in the face. Um, no, it's not here. Close. Usually, we do with uh, we have a setup method, different method in Selenium. No, you do uh, that doesn't require main method, but over here, it's like we don't have. That setup, uh, so it uh, may not run with this setup. Uh, we try to run. So you will see that we'll have before method, after method, and actual test. So in before method, we'll be setting up the Selenium environment, which is the browser we're launching, and we'll do the, some test verifications and some test steps. And then after method, we'll be clean up those browsers that we we launched. So this setup may not work with the uh, what they're trying to do. Uh, if you, even if you try to do here, let's see. Run S. J on it. Um, okay, so if we if we try to do it set up here, let's see if it works. Uh, let's see. And actual method could be Simply copy this. It's not going to work. I think. Ah. I copy it. Okay. No plus different to farm. Uh, yeah. So let's not try to run without the uh, main method here. Uh, but you'll see we'll be running in uh, our Selenium with this setup. So get familiar with the testing G and Unix framework. Okay, please. Those two links I gave you. One is JUnit. API, one is test in the API. This is test in the API. Did I give you that link? Uh, must add it here. Yeah. So next few days after the exam, please spend time on these two. And also, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, XML, Maven. Guys, to prepare for Selenium, we need to learn HTML a little bit, CSS, get familiar with, JavaScript a little bit. And of course, to build a framework, we're going to use Maven and XML. If you don't know HTML, if you don't know the tags and name, 
then it's hard, become difficult to, for you to find the elements of the locators, which is if you go Amazon.com, Amazon.com, and you try to automate these features, you get to know that locators. Say you want to click on these items, and there is some web elements. This is how Selenium recognizes. Hey, you go, you want to click on these items, or you want to in, write some input, some text in the input box. It also has a um, elements which is called web elements. So those goes by name, ID, CSS, and XPath. So in order to be master of those X, uh, locators, you need to learn slowly HTML, mostly HTML, then CSS, JavaScript. If you know, if not, if not, it's fine. But I want you to know get familiar with JavaScript also a little bit, but must HTML. So to get familiar with this, um, the resource will be given in Dropbox. Right, so XML will be using mostly for the Maven. What Maven does is it manages dependency. See the way we try to get JVM test in G, go to browser, download it, copy it over, build path. This is annoying. What if after a few days or a few weeks later the version change? You have to do it again. And you're saying dealing with only one or two dependency? No. In real life, one application can depend on few. A um, handful of dependencies, maybe hundreds of dependencies you need. In that case, it's not fun anymore to update your dependency, to remove it. So you need software to do that. You need the tool to do that job. That's why Maven uh, is going to use for that. Huh? You have to save the version name, then it'll update for you automatically. It's, it's a matter of just um, some some task in the Maven. Uh, See, so it's written in XML. You have to say, okay, I want this version. We'll grab it for you from online. I want that version. We'll grab it for you. You can also say runtime, whatever the current version is, to get for you. So yes, Maven is going to manage all the dependencies. What dependencies means? These are dependencies, right? For this project, given in test cases, these two is the dependencies. Why are you call dependency? Because without these two jar files, you're not allowed to write, you're not allowed to import that test in assert or JUnit assert. This is important. This is not part of core Java. This is not part of core Java, right? So if you're not part of core Java, that means either other third parties created those uh, um, APIs. And once they build the API, the way to share, to give you to use it is making jar files. What JAR file means? Java archive, right? So right now, you create a calculator class, right? You want to share this API into other people or in the world. You have to make, let's make a JAR file of this calculator class and share, hey, you can use this calculator features. So you make a JAR file, and, and you can put it in the Maven repository. So anyone can access it, grab it for you. Same way here, these two is dependency for this project. So in order to use JUnit framework or testing the features, we have to get those JAR files. We saw two ways to do it. One is manually download it and put it there, or some tools to do it for you. That tool is called Maven. So I'll, I'm going to put a lot of documents on Maven, uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow. But do not get involved with now before the exam. After the exam over, after tomorrow, uh, we want to explore HTML, CSS, JavaScript, XML, and Maven. Of course, if you learn these technologies, you become front-end developer. We're not going to do that now, at least not to build applications, but get familiar with this slowly, and we can become expert in terms of locator strategy. And if you wish to become a fountain developer, you can. Right? Resources out there, it's all require your time and dedication. So you can learn those, one of the popular resources we have, W3 schools, where you can learn front end technology like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? From here. So this link is very helpful. 
I want you to sp spend time after the exam on HTML. In this la uh, in this resources, you can become expert and slowly become a developer, guys, if you want to. So now you can also test it right here. The editor is right here. You write code, say try yourself. And you write code. Right? And run it. This is Java course. This is Selenium. This is Selenium. So you you can try run it here while you're learning it on the site. You can use the editor also. So I want everyone every day from now on to spend like a few hours on w3schools.com. Learn HTML a little bit of CSS and JavaScript and XML. When you say XML, you get to learn what XML is, but we'll be using more about Maven based. XML doesn't belong to, actually, it's not, uh, you can make your own tags. It's not like uh, dedicated tags are there, but you can build your own tags. So get familiar with XML. And Maven. It's for also Apache. I'll be creating a folder called name Maven in the Dropbox. You'll get all the resources you need from Maven. But this is the official website. Uh, it's connecting. Oh, wait. Unmuted. Question? Okay. Sure. Well, let's use it by this, which is using main method. Uh, we create a class called test and G. Test test ng main method. You're going to call that calculator class. You're going to call that add numbers. You're going to verify it using the SRS as equals. The way you did for test in g unit, which is this right here. I was also trying to use this annotation. Didn't work for me. This annotation will be usually we use in Selenium framework when we try to test by test cases. Um, so for now, just learn, get familiar with API. What is this is the link I gave you guys. This is the JUnit API. This is the testing G API. So if you start using assert or assert equals, and those that class is the most important class that we will be using. And some annotation like before class, after class, before method, after methods. And those annotations will be using more. Um, I will write it down actually, it's better for you. So in terms of API, generate API, you can use uh, assert dot assert equal. All right, expected, then actual. These methods will be used mostly, very frequently. So get familiar with this, uh, this class and this method. It expected could be array, could be objects, could be single integer, could be string. Right, with the characters, so on. And then get familiar with annotation with the at after and at before. We have at test. This is from JUnit. For testing, we also have after plus. Oh, it should be before plus first. At before class, after class, and test annotation. So what is annotation? You're using, we're saying annotation very frequently now. Annotation is uh, metadata to let the compiler know uh, the priority, or let the compiler know what to do. When you say annotation test, that means to let the compiler know this method mark is a test, so 
it should be at the test cases. And when you say annotation before class, we are saying we are preparing the setup. And you say after class or after method, we are pretty much cleaning up the test cases or, or whatever we did before, let's clean up that process. So before class, after class, before method, after method. So these are the classes we'll be using mostly from when you start Selenium. All right, this is from testing This is from JUnit. In term, these will be the not main tools for Selenium. This will be the main tools from testing framework like JUnit or testing that we will be using. Uh, Selenium API is not introduced yet, but this is from testing GIF framework as developer use for unit testing. As an automation engineer, you'll be using to control your test, to verify your test, to run your test, right? All sort of things you'll be using these two frameworks and resources into our testing framework. One thing, guys, but don't be confused. When I say testing framework, this is a testing framework, actually, that developer are using for unit testing. We are using automation engineer using to run or to control our test. We have our own framework we're going to build. We'll have our own framework that we'll be building, but that framework can use other framework, like existing framework, those are testing G, JUnit, and uh, Apache uh, PY to read data from Excel file, right? So what is Selenium then? So Selenium is simply a sort of tools, or API you could call, that automate web browser. Okay. So the framework you'll be building also depend on other dependencies like testing JUnit and uh, Apache PoI and MongoDB or MySQL databases connector, right? All the dependencies you'll be using. But all everything comes to jar files because everything will be on Java based. So it's gonna be jar files. So these are the testing tools or you could say framework, but we are going to build our own framework, which is to target some applications, wire application, to automate that, right? To test the UI. But you need also some resources to build your framework. And these resources is one of, <coughs> one of them, like having this uh, own, uh, uh, you, because you saw that, how it can verify, right? So in testing framework, your own framework, you require us to verify some data from the UI to the backend, or to click on some web elements, right? For example, here, you are saying, you're gonna click on amazon.com and click on this. You are verifying some data there, right? You are clicking on that. So you need to verify that. To verify that, you can use those test engine resources to verify as other as equals. Or to launch this app, right? To launch this Amazon on Chrome, that could be part of the before method. Before before you test anything, we want to prepare the environment. That is part, part of before method. And that is launching the browser. So what is cleanup process going to be? Once you download the testing here, what do you want to do? You need to close the browser. This is what exactly the after method will do. We'll, we'll do that more, uh, we'll explain more. But why it's important is that we're going to use a sort of equals lot and of course the methods. So you just get familiar with uh, testing the uh, APIs. It's everything, it's all about API. We learned first few weeks core APIs, core Java APIs, right? Uh, system out print LN, random classes, buffer reader, file reader, string classes, right? See, we learned the technique how to export the API on the core Java. Now you can explore in, uh, in testing uh, frameworks. So all come down to API. So if you didn't do well in core Java, now you're going to struggle a lot. So now, just question to you guys, like whoever is electrical engineering, you did uh, chip design, right? Maybe one sort of chip design, maybe at Mega 16 or whatever the, uh, the 
family you use to configure or to build applications. Now, what if you give it to different uh, architecture of chips, microchips? Can you design it? Yes, you can. It's because you learned one specifications, you learn how to implement one chip, you can also try different uh, uh, family of chips, right? different uh, architecture of chips. It's because you get that it's, it works the same way. Could be different uh, criteria, but it works the same way. Now here, you learn core Java API, how to explore. Now you can, exp you can also learn how to utilize any API given to you. Selenium may not be there after 10 years. Can you figure out if I give it to you super Selenium API, that means whatever come next after Selenium, can you do that? Yes, you can. It's because it works the same way. On this, we have different set of um, programming language come uh, for uh, what do you call it? quantum computing. This is not coming anytime soon. It's going to be uh, it takes so much time to take. So, but you are safe until uh, next 10, 15 years maybe, right? So yeah, it works same way. All the API, uh, it, it works same way. Does it make sense, Paul? Yeah. Selenium can work with REST or SOAP applications. Selenium only uh, interact with the UI side, doesn't matter, right? Selenium cares all about if you have the HTML, right, or JavaScript there, CSS there, you can interact with it. It's simply a sort of tool to automate web browsers. It doesn't test actually the web services or there's a different tool you can use for web service testing. Um, so Selenium is built on using all the all pre-features, Selenium 2 actually. Selenium 1 was not based on object oriented uh, programming APIs, but uh, Selenium 2 is more robust, heavily used uh, object oriented programming uh, features. So, do you have time after the exam to go over code labs? I don't think so. There's new things coming up. That's why I say if the task is given to you to finish up, let's finish it up. Let's not wait for next week or next month. Once you go over this, then Selenium will be introduced, right? Selenium API will be introduced. And of course, it will be the framework. If it's Jenkins running CI environment, Source Lab. Of course, if you do MongoDB or uh, Agent Khan can do, will be doing that. Oracle, or MySQL, connector, right? Try to talk to that. Then we'll be learning, we're going to learn JMeter briefly uh, and mobile automation if you're interested. <coughs> Right? We want to do more automation. Even though this, this is not part of the syllabus, but I, uh, we want to you know, learn a little bit so we can, you can rest, you can learn on your own. Because Selenium is pretty close with uh, Appium, which is a mobile automation tool. So if you learn the configuration part, the rest you can figure out. So how much time do you left for the course? Five weeks? Right? Are you in the five weeks now? We started 19. By the way, uh, 25th, uh, which is next week, right? Uh, so 25th. We don't. We don't take two days off. One day we want this. We can take one day off. One day, right? 
it is a, it's the 25th is the day, right? Uh, okay. So maybe you can have class in 24, and we can take it off on 25th. Sounds right? Okay. We'll discuss tomorrow uh, in final life. Where is it? Give me workspace. In it. Now we can say git add git commit and k unit. Git remote add. I have to log into GitHub again. Yeah, no. uh, just find it from here. People don't check. Okay. So, see you tomorrow, guys.